Hi, Kate here. Welcome to Wellcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, check out our introductory video. Long story short, it's 100 wellness exercises in 100 days. You in? What evil lurks in the heart of almost every food? You spend an average of 74 bucks on it for Halloween every year, and it sneaks its way into your favorite foods, even the ones you thought were kid-tested and mom approved. It's sugar, and you're eating too much of it. Today, we're going to teach you how to get your sugar intake under 50 grams. According to the World Health Organization, that's all you need. Did you know that consuming too much sugar seriously hurts both your physical and mental health? It's impossible to stay away from sugar completely. Sugar is in every fruit, vegetable, and grain there is. Instead of avoiding sugar entirely, we'll teach you how to make smarter choices to help you cut back. Americans eat up to a half a pound of sugar each day. That's 225 grams, almost five times as much as you should be eating. That adds up to 180 pounds a year, which is almost as heavy as a USPS mailbox. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition has linked added sugar intake to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. People who ate over 100 grams of sugar a day, which is twice the daily allotment, had 12% higher body mass indexes than those who ate the healthy and recommended 50 grams or less. Why? Sugar is incredibly calorie dense. Okay, a single gram of sugar has 3.9 calories. Let's say you drink a small Coke for lunch every day. That adds up to 14,600 grams of sugar per year, just from your drink at lunch. By the way, 14,600 grams is 80% of what you need in a year. Sugar consumption also leads to heart attacks. People who ate over 100 grams of added sugar each day for a period of five years were more than twice as likely to suffer heart attacks as those who ate less than 50 grams. But sugar isn't just taking a toll on your physical health. Researcher Malcolm Pete found that added sugar intake is linked to mental illnesses such as depression and schizophrenia. Pete also found that over an extended period, consuming 150 extra grams of sugar per day can cause a depletion of a hormone called BDNF. Lack of BDNF can not only lead to mental illness, it can lead to memory loss and cause your brain to develop improperly. Just three times that 50 gram recommendation could be messing with your brain. Today, we're gonna rescue you from your slippery, sugary slope and get you back down to the 50 grams that's recommended. On day one, go through your kitchen cabinets and your refrigerator. Take out five foods you eat on a regular basis. Now, look up the sugar content. It will be on the nutrition label. Maybe you eat ketchup every day. Well, that's 3.5 grams of sugar per serving. Maybe you've been hiding a Snickers bar in your freezer. 28 grams of sugar. That morning orange juice has a whopping 21 grams of sugar. And seriously, almost half of the sugar you need is in that first cup of orange juice. Okay, day two. If you want to get down to 50 grams of sugar, we're going to have to make some substitutions in your snack life. Look, we don't know what's in your fridge or cabinets, but here are some of our suggestions. Cut the soda. Just switch to mineral water or tea. Buy natural. Natural peanut butter only has one gram of sugar, whereas Jif has three. Try to snack healthy. Eat those vegetables and nuts. Remember, you don't have to cut out sugar completely. Just take a look at how much you're eating. Try to cut yourself down to 50 grams. With each little substitution, your health is taking leaps and bounds. How did you do on the challenge? Were you able to get under 50 grams of sugar a day? Let us know. Ready for a recap? You're probably eating way too much sugar. Your sugar intake needs to be under 50 grams a day, or it can cause all sorts of maladies. Everything from rapid weight gain to schizophrenia. Here's how our Wellcast exercise helps with that. Step one, go through your cabinets. Pick five foods you eat a ton, and write down the amount of sugar each one has. Step two, Use our tips to make healthy substitutions throughout your day. You'll be down below 50 grams in no time. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. 
We'll see you next time.